At the beginning of a new relationship, it's not surprising for people to be on their best behavior and overly meticulous with how they act. In a bid to win the heart of the people they love, they may tend to hide any characteristics that they view as flaws. But as time goes on, people tend to kind of revert back to how they are, and these characters may cause a strain in their relationship. In this video, I will share with you 9 behaviors that can damage a good relationship. 1. Being overly sensitive Nothing hurts a relationship more than feeling unworthy. Of a truth, it is hard to trust your partner if they're not acting trustworthy. So, if your partner keeps breaking your trust, then you may have to put yourself first and foremost and end the relationship. However, if your partner is not doing anything but you continue to live in the memories of past relationships, then you are the one who needs to straighten up. Hypersensitivity is damaging. It begins to create a web of lies through stories and makes you formulate untrue ideas in your head. When you are overly sensitive, you will find yourself finding faults in everything your partner does. Oversensitivity is often as a result of insecurity and it can lead to toxicity in a relationship. Although many people believe that excessive jealousy towards their significant other shows that they genuinely love their partners, it can damage a profitable relationship. 2. Criticizing constantly Long-term partnership can be annoying and at some point we are all guilty of nitpicking at our significant others to some degree. However, if you're constantly criticizing your partner, only one of two things can happen and neither of them is right. The first is that your partner may be able to bear and stay with you regardless, resulting in a long-standing scenario that is toxic. The second possibility is that your significant other will get fed up and finally move on. If you feel like you are incessantly picking on your partner, it may be time to consider unpacking why you do that, mostly if it has caused issues in your relationship. 3. Losing yourself in the other person Relationship expert, best-selling author and host Charles Orlando once said, Losing a relationship hurts, but losing yourself in a relationship hurts longer. If you start dating someone new and suddenly you like everything they like and you no longer like the things you enjoyed before you met them, this is a huge red flag. In a bid to adjust to their newfound relationship, many people get swallowed up and lose themselves in it. For instance, you are a daily jogger but now you think running is boring and prefer to get to the gym or you used to eat meat and now you are a vegetarian. Of course, you should change to some degree within a relationship but not 100%. When you are completely lost in your partner, insecurity creeps in. It often leads to sabotage and the worst part of such breakups, the guilt and hurts linger. 4. Dishonesty When two individuals enter a relationship, they tend to trust each other until one person does something that hurts or deceives the other person. Indeed, lying is bad, yet sometimes the line between right and wrong can sometimes become blurry because in reality, everyone fibs. However, you must learn to be discreet with the truth rather than tell lies. As a general rule, dishonesty is a relationship killer and the lies don't even have to be significant to cause a catastrophe. The accumulation of many little lies destroys trust. When your partner catches you in these little lies, you term small, he puts them off. And after a while, your significant other will begin to question his or her continued involvement with someone who can so casually shun the truth. When you lie always, trust diminishes and when your partner stops trusting you, a breakup is inevitable. Little wonder why an anonymous quote says, lying is one of the quickest way to ruin a beautiful relationship. 5. Showing the wrong love language In his book, The Five Love Languages, Gary Chapman stated that humans generally express love in five different ways. These ways he called the love languages. According to Chapman, when a person fails to recognize his or her partner's love language, issues are bound to arise because no matter how much effort you put into the relationship, your partner may not appreciate it. For instance, if your partner's love language is words of affirmation, even if you buy the most expensive gift in the world, it will not be appreciated. Showing the wrong love language to your partner is just like pouring water into a basket. No matter how much you work, the basket cannot retain water. Sadly, many good relationships break because both partners fail to recognize each other's love language. 6. Avoiding fights No one wants to fight. However, conflicts are a part of a relationship and the sooner a person understands it, 
the better it is for their relationship. Well, it does not mean that you should be consistently engaged in unnecessary banters with your partner. When problems arise in your relationship, be sure to tackle them as they come, rather than bottling them up to portray that your relationship is perfect. Experts recommend that one should not let small grievances build up to something big and wait for it to explode. For instance, if your partner does something that hurts your feelings but you don't want to ruin dinner by bringing it up, you can wait till later but be sure to talk about it. You may experience a short period of discomfort due to speaking out but that sure beats an extended period of low-grade resentment and eventual breakup. 7. Overstepping their boundaries Just because you are in a relationship does not mean you can overstep your partner's boundaries. Many individuals do not understand that even your partner needs his or her privacy. They go as far as checking their partner's call logs and messages and going through their social media pages when they are not around. Behaviors such as that show suspicion and lack of trust and it can lead to a broken relationship. Yes, you both are in a relationship but still you both have specific boundaries and overstepping your partner's boundaries can ruin your relationship faster than you can imagine. If you want a lasting relationship, you must know when to step back and give them a space to breathe in. 8. Lack of Affection Just as always being together can be too much, lack of love in a relationship is damaging as well. Relationships can fall into a rut after a while, but it is essential to keep the magic going. When one partner perceives a decline in affection for the other, he or she is bound to suspect that the partner is not faithful anymore. Continue to touch each other in gentleness, kiss each other as you leave the house and send kind messages throughout the day. No affection is a sign that things have grown apart. If you want to rekindle the relationship, then you must take the initiative. The longer you let things dwindle, the harder it is to reignite the fire. Cuddling, hand-holding and hugging are simple things that keep you and your partner together. Without expressing affection, your relationship may be ruined. 9. Texting or being on your phone instead of communicating with your partner Social media and technology have been an incredible asset to our society. However, it has also been the death of many relationships over time. For instance, two people may live in the same house and rarely speak to one another because they are both focused on their technological device. A constant lack of physical communication may cause partners to be apart emotionally. Thus, if you want a lasting relationship, put the phone away. Turn off the computer and sit together to have a meal or take a walk around the block. Make time to share the things from your day. Your social status can wait an hour or two. It is not going anywhere. But your partner might vacate the relationship if you don't start to give him or her attention. The more people get comfortable in a relationship, the more they show their true self, which may include some not-so-great habits. Although, not all not-so-great relationship behaviors or habits will result in an immediately damaging effect. They can take a toll over time. If you're one of our great fans who have been wanting to know who is behind this channel, now you can know. Kindly check the description box to join Steve Courage's personal channel. Learn directly from him or ask him any questions. Thanks.